Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a couple of bits that I've picked up on my various travels over the last couple of months. I have family staying with me at the moment, so my mum's sister is Australian and she has come to stay with us, so at the moment it's her and my cousin. While they are in England and on this side of the world, they wanted to see a bit of Europe, so we went away last week to Paris for two nights. I think you know how much I just love Paris. I just enjoy the culture of just sitting there and drinking little tiny cups of coffee and looking out into the world. I love how all the tables in restaurants face onto the street so you can just people watch. I think that's so cool. Anyway, I got myself a few little souvenirs and I was thinking like, I haven't actually made a haul video for so long because I was doing monthly hauls up until I think like July or August. But then, as you know, I had my really busy month in August where I went on three separate holidays <laughs> with basically the three people in my life who care about me enough to want to spend like an extended period of time with me. So one with my mum, one with my dad and one with Jacob. I bought one souvenir from each of those trips and then since being back, I have not bought anything really. So I've just not been needing to make my monthly haul videos but because I've now got like four trips worth of souvenirs I thought you know I'll show you. So let's go chronologically. The first trip I went on was to New York with my mum and my sister which was like our joint birthday presents because I turned 21 this year she turned 18. What I decided to do was to buy a pin badge on each trip because I feel like they're just a really good little memento of the trip. They don't take up too much space, they have some kind of purpose other than just like looking nice or potentially just looking really tacky. And I already have a sort of mini collection of pins going on and to be honest I don't really use them, I don't put them on my jackets or anything, they just kind of sit there and look pretty. So I admit maybe this isn't the best use of my money because it's not something I'm getting a lot of use out of and eventually my collection will build up to the point that it's just too much and I want to chuck it out. I know that, I know that's going to happen but for the time being I'm really enjoying my little pin collecting. I'll probably put some on my denim jacket once it's actually warm enough to just wear a jacket outside again but for now I'm happy enough just looking at them. I think they look pretty and that's enough for me. So as I said first of all I went to New York and this is the pin that I got from New York. I got it at the top of the Rockefeller Center. It just called to me and I love the sort of monochrome design. It's got a picture of the Rockefeller Center and then around it it says I've been to the top of New York and then it says top of the rock at the bottom. I'm really pleased with this one. I think it looks super cool. I love how shiny it is and it cost me $6.95. So next over summer I went to Amsterdam with Jacob and at this point I knew I was kind of like looking out for pins but I didn't really have that much choice. I was looking in all the tourist shops and it was a lot of just like marijuana things which is fine but like I didn't want that on a pin badge so I eventually found this one which I think is quite cute. It's got a picture of a little bike with some flowers and I guess they must be tulips. It's got a really bright yellow background and then it says Amsterdam in red down the bottom. The quality doesn't seem amazing. It was only a couple of euros and I bought it from a tourist shop so that's kind of what you'd expect but as long as it doesn't fall off and I don't lose it, it'll be fine. <laughs> my next destination was Crete, so this time with my dad and my sister. It was quite hard to find pins in Crete because we were staying in this quite touristy place. It was kind of a village that was only built for tourists but it wasn't like crazy touristy at the same time it was quite a strange one but they didn't really have any shops and the shops that were there didn't really sell souvenirs as such especially of the place we were staying they were just kind of more general like Greece or Crete things. On one of our day trips I managed to find this pin which has a little tiny map of Crete on it. We stayed somewhere around here we flew into Hania which is this little sticky out bit. We only really got to see sort of northwest parts of Crete but there you go that is the pin that I managed to find. So that was my summer done and then as I said like last week I went to Paris with my family and they had quite a lot of pins to choose from there but a lot of them had really tacky text on or they just looked a bit naff but eventually I chose this one. So this pin is the Eiffel Tower, it's got Paris written in the colours of the French flag and then around the bottom it's got loads of cute little red hearts. It is a really sort of cliche touristy design but I do still think that it's really really cute. As well as that pin badge I got two other little souvenirs from Paris because I just couldn't resist them. First of all at the top of the Eiffel Tower I was in the gift shop looking for pin badges which they didn't have. As I was leaving I saw this postcard and I just had to buy it. So here it is, it's a scene of like Paris rooftops with the Eiffel Tower in the background in sort of gold foil. It's really pretty. And then these two cats down here are the exact spitting image of my cat's Penny and Tiddles. They're both so accurately like them, like some of their markings are exactly the same, it's really weird. Obviously I had to buy this and, you know, Tiddles passed away in April. I never talked about it on my channel, I don't think, but I spoke about it online and it's really sad, but now I'm going to put this on like my pin board or something, maybe the pin will buy me there and it'll be a little cute artwork thing 
of penny and doodles that's like they're still together it's really nice so the final purchase in paris was kind of just like i was feeling the vibe and i wanted to buy a beret obviously i got a pastel pink one i got it from one of the tory shops outside notre dame for like five or six euros they had cheaper ones but they were like made of acrylic and polyester and this one is 95 percent wool five percent polyester so i thought like it's better quality it's gonna last me longer but the problem is because it's mostly wool it doesn't really seem to have that much stretch in it and this seems to be quite small so i got my sister one as well because she wanted one i got her like a sort of rusty red colored one and it was the same design same price and everything but hers is a lot bigger than this and i just want to point out like i have quite a small head you may not realize this it's probably something that only i notice but i've got a little pea head right and this is kind of a bit too small on me it won't quite like if it just had a little bit of stretch in it it would be a bit better but I just felt too awkward to try it on in the shop because they kind of like hound you and if I tried it on he would have like come up to me and be like buy this buy this buy this so I just kind of picked it up and bought it which maybe was a mistake but I was just trying to avoid like interacting with people you know <laughs> I'm not really a souvenir person the beret was like pushing the boat a bit too far for me I think <laughs> so those were the things that I've bought on my various trips over the last couple of months I hope you enjoyed this little video and I will see you very soon